This is a Hot Pie Media Original. The 35% rule. I know you don't know what that is. I just made it up myself. But I think it's fairly safe to say we have a 30 or 35% rule. I'll round it up. It's no more than 35. It's probably a little less than 35. But for conversation, we'll just use 35%. It is the new theory that I have. We live by the 35% rule. It is more alive than ever before. Maybe at some level it existed previously, but now it is just a fact. It is a rule. It is a handbook. It should smack you right in the face. Let Let me tell you how this is in play, and I don't know there's much of a disagreement. I can even give you a academic, a business textbook page that this is used from. Go back a few days to Greg Abbott on CNBC. I don't know if it's Thursday, Friday, whatever day it was last week. He goes on CNBC. I don't. It didn't work well for him, but, but I realized and have realized, and I think you will as well, it doesn't matter. 70% of you don't matter. It doesn't care, matter what you think. It doesn't matter how ridiculous you think his comments were. It doesn't matter what you think. You don't matter. Why he chose this medium where the 70% of you do matter is a little odd to me, but go back a few days and this will start to make sense. Aren't you worried that some of the major employers in your state are going to respond negatively or potentially pull investment or donation dollars uh, in light of some of these topics? So uh, first, uh, again, uh, we continue to see a massive influx of these employers coming in the state of Texas because candidly, Uh, Not only do they like uh, the business environment, but uh, Morgan, you need to understand that there's a lot of businesses and a lot of Americans uh, who who like uh, the social positions that the state of Texas is taking. You You know, while he's saying that, CNBC flashes up from Forbes, not exactly the bastion of liberalism, by the way. You know, the founder ran for president at one time on the Republican side. But it flashed up a, on the screen. It says two-thirds of businesses said they may avoid the state because of these social policies put in place by the Texas legislature. But it doesn't matter. Not, the 70% of you, the 70% of them, the 70% of everyone doesn't matter. In fact, it's kind of F off. That's really what it is. What he meant, so there was code to everything he said, because his appearance doesn't matter because the 70% don't matter. What he meant was the 35% that matter to me, like the social policies put into place by the Texas legislature. That's code for the rest of you don't matter. The rest of you thinking humans don't matter. This is me about me and about my friends. So this, uh, this new rule, handbook rule, I don't know what it is. I don't know who comes up with this stuff. Uh, p- people in politics are idiots. They would never make it in the real business world. But what they do in politics seems to work, which is pretty slimy. So the rule hit me when I was reading, uh, I think it was the Statesman over the weekend, statesman.com. And then notice this. This is when it should be clear to all of you. Notice how the numbers 30 to 35 keep coming up. You could say the same thing about Donald Trump's time in office. Donald Trump didn't create what I'm about to talk about. Donald Trump can't create anything. He has no strategy, no intellect whatsoever. But his train wreck of a time in office set the political stage for the 35% rule and just sort of solidified the 35% rule. Okay, it says uh, statesman.com. I don't know what day this was, sometime over the weekend. 116 Texans died every day last month from COVID-19. Some patients can't get the surgeries they need because hospitals are so full of unvaccinated COVID-19 patients. Some classrooms closed just weeks into the school year because infections were rampant. Even though 35% of Texans oppose mask requirements in school. Remember the number. Watch how often it comes up. Texas's Secretary of State declared the 2020 elections were, quote, smooth and secure, and officials have found no sign of significant voter fraud, even after Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick offered cash rewards for any proof of illegal voting. 
Still, Greg Abbott went to extraordinary lengths, vetoing an entire legislative branch's funding and calling two special sessions to make sure a bill that further restricts voting finally reached his desk. All this, even though 35% of Texans say voting rules need to be more strict. Oh, no, it comes up over and over and over again. You didn't have a special legislative session for you. You had a special legislative session for 35%. He didn't say that stuff on CNBC for you. He said it for 35%. And it keeps going and going. Welcome to Texas, it says, where the whims of a powerful minority of GOP voters drive the policies for us all. Here, self-governance is not about serving the good of the community, but bolstering the ability to, of certain individuals to impose their will on others. Well, it's not entirely true. It's not all others. It's 30% others. Uh, the extreme abortion ban that went into effect this past week, effectively ending abortion in Texas after six weeks of pregnancy before many women even know they're pregnant. That doesn't matter. I'm not arguing that. Follow this. 32% of Texans said abortion laws should be more strict. I know it's not 35, but you get the point. Oh, it keeps going. Everything seems to have 30 to 35% attached to it. John McClellan is the co-founder and creator of ATX Hot Sauce, now in all 50 states and several retail outlets as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to let this social media rock star chef uh, walk us through four different sauces, and then I'll taste and we'll tell everyone why they should buy. You can give the science behind yeah. these and then... I'll make the uh, the simple recommendation. Go to atxhotsauce.com. All right. I don't so think let's anybody's go. heard the website. Yeah, I know. I know. You, Jeff, <laughs> I've but never that, heard yeah, that. It is atxhotsauce.com. I'll say it 345 right. times, atxhotsauce.com. So let's do it. Uh, I brought four flavors here, and we're going to test your palate today. Okay. And I only brought four because I didn't think you could handle five yeah, or six. Yes, Probably a smart move. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so the first one we're going to try here, it's called Beat Heat. And just like the name implies, beets. it beet, it has beets in it. It's made with red Fresno peppers. Red Fresnos are uh, red peppers that are, uh, they're hotter than a jalapeno and a little bit less than a serrano. So not super hot here, uh, just a lot of good, really good flavor. So we're going to start All with right. this one and then we're going to move up the chain. Okay. I've had the beet heat, but okay. Yeah, we're going to try it though. We're it, goes try well, it, it goes well with a cab. All right, Jeff's savoring beet I'll heat. I'll even do it with you, so that should be all right. Now, remember, it is hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's hot sauce. Trust me, man. Wait, that one, is that one hot to you? Um, no, no, no. A little. Yeah. The, the, well, the great thing with the fermentation process is you get a bunch of the flavor right up front. Yeah. And then the heat comes, but then it dissipates pretty quickly, especially with the red Fresnos. You know, this is not a very spicy uh, one, but it is um, a very tasty one. goes on great on sandwiches. Beet heat. Beet heat. B-E-E-T. Heat. All right, go to atxhotsauce.com. That's right. It also reflects a disturbing tendency to, on the right to embolden extremists who want to intimidate their opponents. Um, yeah, sort of. They don't, that's too broad, too. How about this? 19% of Texans have doubts about the integrity of the state's election results. Yeah, well, it's, I know it's lower than 30, but you get the point. 36% of Texans support permitless carry. Uh, last week, in a poll, 52% of Texans said the state is on the wrong track. Well, you know what? You don't matter. You don't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. In fact, it's uh, in a weird way, it's kind of good that you don't like it. Uh, Greg Abbott's disapproval number is currently at 50%. Guess what approval number he has? Because he's now, in his political calculus, he's on the positive side because the positive side is about that 35% number. He's currently at 41%. He's got 6% to play with. All that matters is 35%. So I, you can go down the list of any polling data you want, and it's going to come back time and time again. The policies are about 30%. Everything is about 30%. He doesn't care what his approval number is as long as he's got 30-something percent. He's at 40. It's pretty awful. I don't remember the last time a governor of the state of Texas had a number that that's low. It is a relatively weak position, so you don't do a heck of a lot, but he's tried to say a heck of a lot because he knows all that matters, all that matters is 35%. 
So um, in marketing terms, uh, just to write a textbook, you would say segmentation would be the term. Segmentation, if you go to page 20 in your textbook, is an overt attempt to ignore portions of the market, right? This is the same thing. No, I'm not about to pretend for any single second anyone in politics is smart enough to have strategy like that. But they do know. They do know the echo chamber. They do know the noise. And the only noise that matters is 35%. That number 35% in that statesman piece comes up over and over and over again over every policy that most sensible people say, what are you doing that for? Well, they're doing it for 35%. Greg Abbott, a, by, by general measurement, let's say it this way, by general measurement, he's a mess right now, okay? His approval numbers, which is hard to do when you're governor, it's hard to do. They're taking a nosedive. I suspect this goes all the way back to that winter storm when it was a despicable moment for anybody in politics, certainly for him at that time when he said this is about wind turbines or he went on Fox News acting like a full jackass. He did it because because 70 percent of you, 75 percent of you don't really matter. So there were apparently was no risk there. So his his goal um, you can say he says nonsensical things now. Yes, of course, because he's saying nonsensical things in the name of political theater because he has no choice. He's now a full prisoner, a prisoner of the 35 percent rule. It doesn't matter what he wants since he's there for his career. He's now a prisoner of 35 percent. The prisoner of 35 percent is an interesting concept as well. I just came up with that one, too. The prisoner of the 35% rule is this. You have to make the 35% happy or the 35% ruin you. It's screwed up math. Most people would say, well, I'm not going to be ruined by 30%. I'm going to be ruined by the majority. No, no, no. If you don't make the 35% very happy, give them everything they want at every turn, they turn on you and you've got nothing. Okay, see, Abbott and modern day Republicans, whatever that's become, super serve the 35 percent, give the 35 percent what it wants. Nonsensical stuff that most people disagree with, nonsensical stuff that most quote employers disagree with, nonsensical stuff that most people that live in urban areas completely disagree with. And most people with college degrees completely disagree with. It doesn't matter. You give them what they want, because if they turn you're ruined. You're done. You don't have another base. You only have 30%. It's the ultimate form of segmentation. If the Trump 35% turn on you, if you don't constantly give them everything they want whenever they want it, because you have no choice, you're their prisoner. And you got to keep super serving. And super serving means to hell with the other 70, 65 to 70 percent. To hell with you. Go away. F off. I got I to I be mean to you or else. Because you don't have anybody else. Right? And once you start down this path, I mean, it's the, again, it's the Trump model. He didn't create it because he's too stupid to do that. But once, you, once you're in this, once you're a prisoner of the 35 percent, there's no one else for you. No one else really agrees. No one else could even possibly agree. In fact, they pretty much dislike you and everything you stand for. So once you go and you're prisoner of the 35, you're there. You're there. Because if you venture out of the 35 to give everybody else something they want, any part of the 35 that turns on you, you're finished. You can't get reelected with anything but the 35. I know that's twisted math again, but you can only get elected with the 35, you can't win any other customers. It's, um, you know, like a business that says, it's sort of like Sears, right? I mean, this is, I don't know how to set this time, clock back, but the Republican Party right now is Sears. They're going to hang on, go back 10 years. I don't know, whenever somebody shopped at Sears. But 10 years ago, somebody would probably have said, you know, we're running out of customers. Yeah, well, this is all we have. So we're going to give the ones we have. We're going to give grandma what she wants. She's going to drive to the mall. She's going to walk to the store. That's all we have. Yeah, yeah, but everybody else, no one else is coming here. Screw them. We're going to give grandma what she wants. We're going to hang on as long as we can. 
There's the 35% rule. Seems pretty dramatic, seems pretty illogical. But if you think about where Greg Abbott is or anybody else with an R next to their name, certainly in this state, if they don't do what they're doing, they run the risk of the 35 turning. Okay, the 35 is incredibly selfish. Maybe they should be. And they've got what they want and they're not going to stop. So you're going to keep super serving the 35 or else you're finished. And he knows it. He knows it. That idiotic performance on CNBC, while graphics are by his head saying just the opposite, he knows. I know the rest of you are making fun of me right now. I know the rest of you don't agree with anything I'm saying right now. I know it seems illogical, but I have to do this for the 35 or I'm finished. 